At a point when all the debate is about zero carbon housing, and what I loved about this project was that they took a Victorian building with no cavity walls, with no south facing roofs, on the basis that if you could make that building work, you could make any building work. In terms of the techniques, it's actually very easy. Uh, installations, for example, we've got um, sheep's wool, rock wool, we've got recycled cotton with a bit of hemp. But then we've gone to the extent of dealing with the heating and, and the hot water system. So we've got a solar thermal panel. We've got underfloor heating in every room, and that can reduce your, your energy consumption because the temperature of the water is lower. Most of these things have been done many times uh, for a number of years by lots of different people around the country. What I've just tried to do is pull it into, all into one place so we can learn from it. They had no funding. They worked seven days a week for 18 months. They reduced the carbon footprint by 75%, and that's an inspiration, I think.